Let's go and we will sing. Oh. interesting topic. I remember that when I was growing up, my father told me a story. In his days, there was only one doctor in Oshobo, according to him. And everybody looked up to the doctor whenever anybody was ill. And then someday, the doctor himself took ill. And if I remember very well, the story was like eventually that medical doctor died. And it was shocking to everybody. So a doctor could be ill or a doctor could die. And then I remember another story when I was in the Bible school, perhaps about 1995, a particular Bible school. And amongst the people in my class was a very young professor, perhaps a prominent person somewhere now. And whenever there was any question that the rest of us could not answer, everybody would turn to him and say, Prof, would you answer that? And then one day he retorted back, he said, wow, a prof is also a man. So we are all subject to like passion. So for your life boy today, the topic is the human nature of Christ. The human nature of Christ. And we'll be taking a reading from the epistle to the Hebrews in chapter 2. I will be reading from the 14th verse. Since Let's therefore the children share in flesh and blood, he himself likewise partook the same nature that through death he might destroy him who has power of death, that is the devil, and deliver all those who through fear of death were subject to lifelong bondage. For surely it is not with angels that he is concerned, but with the descendants of Abraham. Therefore, he had to be made like his brethren in every respect, so that he might become a merciful and faithful high priest in the service of God, to make expiation for the sins of the people. For because he himself has suffered and being tempted, he is able to help those who are tempted. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let me tell you that because in the Anglican Church, in the Church of Nigeria, Anglican Communion, and perhaps in the rest of the Anglican Church worldwide, we are still celebrating the epiphany season like most of the other old churches and this is part of like the presentation of christ that we are still celebrating the presentation of christ as god and at the same time as man the only one that ever had that kind of unique manifestation god the father didn't struggle to do that the Holy Spirit never bothered about doing that. But Jesus, God the Son, is the only one who had that human nature and was also Christ. It is this 
Jesus Christ who took on human nature that was written about in the gospel according to St. John, starting from chapter 1, verse 1, that in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, the Word was God. And in verse 14 there, it says the Word became flesh. So that underscores the human nature of Christ. And in spite of that human nature and divine nature, it is recorded and it is said concerning him that he never thought it robbery to be equal to God. We find that somewhere in Philippians chapter 2 from about verse 6 to about verse 7. And he still subjected himself to everything that God wanted him to be subjected to as man. That was why, to let you know that he had that human nature, he went to a, a wedding feast, just like you and I would go to a party today. And when things were a little rough and he needed something to eat and nothing was coming from a fig tree, he cursed the fig tree and the fig tree, you know, dried up at once. When he was in the garden of Gethsemane, praying, knowing that it was time for him to yield his life, at a point that human nature made him to say, I wish that this cup would pass over me. But, you know, the divine nature also eventually took over and he said, nevertheless, let your will be done. What are we saying in all this is that Jesus Christ also had that human nature just like a model so that he will feel exactly what humanity felt and he will be able to handle everything about humanity. Jesus, even after he re resurrected, he manifested to the disciples. We find that in chapter 21 of the Gospel according to St. John, and he still ate fish with them. That's even after he resurrected. You know, trying to just underscore that human nature that he had, he, he, he subjected himself to. The nearest that I can think of in recent times in our fellowship on your life boy today is God asking Hosea, prophet Hosea, to go and marry a wife that would be unfaithful to him. So it's like a little model of what it was all about. But for us, humanity, Jesus Christ was the super model, the big model. And I'm talking of the model that ordinarily we are expected to follow. So if that be the case, and we recognize that in spite of the human nature of God, he never sinned, then for us, we recognize that we could also strive and by the leading and the special grace of the Holy Spirit, we could also be able to live a life that is acceptable to God, that God will be proud of, that will be an example to others. So that whatever is happening around you, just think of it, how will Jesus Christ have handled this? I try to do that a lot. I find myself in any difficult situation. I find myself in a pleasant situation. I find myself in any situation whatsoever. And I want to find out, so how do I go about this? And then I try to think, how did Jesus handle a similar situation if he ever went through it? And if he didn't go through it, supposing he could have gone through this kind of situation with that human nature of Christ that he put on, how will Christ have handled the situation that I find myself in now? So that you know that Jesus Christ took on that human nature and he was able to survive all kinds of oddities of the world and he kept the faith, then I assure you, you can also keep the faith. All you need to do is hold on to the tenets of Christianity and do everything in his word. That's for you if you're a Christian. And if you're not a Christian, this is an opportunity for you to recognize the human nature of Christ. So also give your life to Christ so that you can recognize and continue to live by faith. If you are ready for that experience, just say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I now understand the more about the human nature that you took on so that you could be a perfect model for us. Therefore, forgive me of my sins. Accept me into your kingdom from today that I will also be one with you, I pray in Jesus' name. If you said that prayer, welcome to the kingdom. Find a Bible-believing church around you. If you find an Anglican church, that would be a great idea. And if you happen to be in Oshobo, 
Osho State, Nigeria. Come to the Anglican Church or the PSC Extension and together we'll learn at the feet of Jesus who took on human nature. For all of us together now, let's say this prayer. Say thank you, Father, for sending your holy begotten Son to save us from sin. Help us to live for you always that we may dwell with you eternally in heaven. We we'll pray in Jesus' name. So go out today, recognize that the human nature of Christ is one that should be an inspiration to you. Live your life to fill those voids in the lives of other people. Live life like Christ did and it will be well with you. God bless you. I judge you faithful. I call you faithful. I call you good.